uh, cancer is a name that uh, induces a lot of fear. It is a very debilitating disease. But with the advent of a lot of new therapy and newer technology, there are plenty of cancer survivors now. Uh, cancer is growing in uh, um, huge epidemic proportions and there are a lot of youngsters, young men and women in the reproductive age getting cancer. See, the cancer patients usually are um, advised for chemotherapy or radiotherapy. The thing is, these chemotherapeutic agents or radiotherapeutic agents, they are gonadotoxic. So they may cause permanent sterility in the male or female who is subjected to these treatments. So here in Gunshila Hospital, as a social initiative, we do charitable programs for all the uh, patients who are under, undergoing chemotherapy and radiotherapy prior to can their, uh, for their cancer treatments. So we do semen cryopreservation and uh, we also do uh, oocyte cryopreservation, embryo cryopreservation and uh, cortical tissue cryopreservation. So these are all measures which are actually uh, helpful in retaining the fertility potential of men and women before they undergo uh, cancer therapies like chemo or radio. In 2010, we took it upon ourselves to uh, do something for this, this group of patients. What we do is, uh, if, a, if somebody has been diagnosed with a cancer, we have encouraged the specialists who look after them to send them to us before they actually start their chemo or radiotherapy because these treatments can actually decrease the ovarian reserve, can destroy the sperm and can destroy the eggs. So before the patient reaches that kind of a, a situation, we would like to help them to store their eggs or store their sperm and keep it until, until a later date when they can actually use it. So once they are free, once they have had their treatment, be it chemo, radio or whatever it is, they can then come back, once they are free of the disease, they can come back and to claim their eggs and to claim their sperm. So, Gunchila Hospital has taken it, taken upon itself to store sperms, eggs, embryos and even ovarian tissue for a period of 10 years completely free of charge for these young cancer survivors. We have had, we have more than about 300 samples of sperm which have been stored with us uh, and majority of the young men who have come and given us the sperm have testicular cancer. Uh, we have also stored a variety of uh, uh, eggs, uh, embryos and tissues for young women. Uh, they need to come to us, uh, they need to be sent to us before they start their chemotherapy. That is the most important uh, point that somebody should note. So this is a message that I want to send out to all uh, the public who either who knows somebody who has cancer or a patient who is undergoing treatment uh, and we will do it for you free of charge. Uh, I'm happy to inform you that we have had uh, men who have come back who have actually stored their sp sperm samples uh, before their cancer treatment started and who have come back and who have used their sperm and have successfully had babies. 